Hey there, my name is Chris, and for the Hack on List Challenge, I put together an app called List Collectible. Um, now, the rise of NFTs has really picked up in the last year. Uh, perhaps most recently, uh, just a couple months ago, this piece of digital artwork represented by an NFT sold for $69 million. Um, but to this point, mostly NFTs have just been used for speculation. Uh, and so what I want to do is put together an app that allowed anybody to productize a collection of documents or a collection of files and have that represented by an NFT backed by the LISC blockchain. Now, uh, here's the app. Uh, as you can see on this first page, uh, these are just some examples. But anybody can come on to the website, create a bundle of files, set a price, and sell them as an NFT um, using the list SDK. And so let me show some examples. So I have um, some legal documents. I have some test file collections. And if I wanted to purchase that, I can go ahead and click purchase and be able to check out using my wallet on LISC and get rights to those files in that collection. So let me show you how this works. Suppose I wanted to upload a new collection. Uh, let's just say uh, my legal documents. Uh, so there's gonna be a test bundle. I can set the cost and like a particular margin that I wanna be making um, against that initial cost and a purchase fee. Um, the image that will show on the listing. And once I'm comfortable with these items, I can click next and upload some files. Now, just to show like this is happening in real time, I'm gonna go ahead and take a screenshot. Click the upload file section. And you can see from here that I can select those files, and here's the screenshot I just uploaded. Select open, upload those, click done. And what's happening behind the scenes is a two-step process. Um, first, the files get uploaded to a bucket on IPFS, and then an NFT gets created on LISC that is tied to that particular bucket representing ownership. Um, so if I come back to search, I can come, I can go and search for that packet that was just uploaded and it might it might take a couple minutes so let me go ahead and come back oh there it is so now i can purchase that bundle um you can see here i have the purchase fight price and the minimum fee um use the given passphrase and i had my passphrase pre-populated so i'm just going to go ahead and reference that again and i can purchase an nft and get access to those documents via this key Click OK. And from this page, I can essentially access any uh, bundle, assuming I have that key, uh, directly from this website. So I'm going to enter the key in the name of the, the bundle that I just purchased. Click Look Up. And if there's a match, it'll say Access Contents. Uh, and if not, it'll show an appropriate error message. But in this case, it's correct. And you can see here, here are the files that were associated with that NFT. Um, and I can go ahead and download any one of those just by clicking on that. Um, and to give you further evidence, essentially all this happened behind the scenes um, and on the blockchain server, every single uh, new creation or new token that gets provisioned uh, gets logged here, as well as um, um, information about that bundle and who owns it. Lastly, all this code is available on GitHub. Uh, you can check it out at any time, uh, pull down the code and try it out, assuming you have a, a API key to access IPFS. So that's pretty much the list collectible project and thanks for your time.